Hello, hello, and welcome back. Perfidious Beat here, still shouting at the skies in XCOM, the long war, mostly in the hope that aliens will stop dropping out of it. Seriously, the sectoids really splatter when they hit the pavement, it's getting pretty messy down here. Earth is uh, starting to look a lot like a parking lot at a bird sanctuary on free breadcrumb Tuesday. But at any rate, our last episode went reasonably well. Our interceptor pilot and, and top gun himself, Carrot Top, the chairman of the board, Shot down a medium UFO in single combat, armed only with his prop comedy stylings and a really, really big laser gun. Um, our raid on the UFO went somewhat, uh, not quite as well as Carrot Top's Triumph. Uh, Kanye West and Eminem both got, to, both took a beating in their freestyle rap battle against MC Ethereal, and uh, they got sent back to the mobile home lab again to work on their lyrics. Fortunately, the rookie we took along, uh, well, she was well prepared for her throwdown and won her uh, rap off against the Ethereal and managed to earn a promotion. So since we did have a rookie get promoted, then what we're going to do is just go assign her a name. And I believe it was yeah, Specialist Sniper Greta Carlson. And we're going to take a look at Greta here. Kind of a dishwater blonde, sort of thin, kind of a rounded face. I think this is going to be Amanda Bynes. Now, I know one could make uh, some fairly humorous comments about the fact that uh, Amanda Bynes is going to be walking about carrying a large sniper rifle and shouting about aliens, but uh, we won't say anything like that because Amanda Bynes has legitimate mental illness and there's nothing funny about that. So, with Amanda Bynes on the team, then, um, we don't really have any other kind of baits, maintenance, or anything to do. Just waiting for some laser cannons to be finished. And a few guys to come off our injured reserve list, of course, since uh, they're a lot like Carrie Wood, and most of them spend their time in the hospital, uh, still getting paid despite not filling their contract. And we're mostly waiting for some satellites to finish as well, so we can get those up in the air. So let's start scanning. Alright, more laser cannons complete. Fantastic. A couple people back on duty, which is also good. Um, we did get those two laser cannons finished, so we are going to make sure those are equipped immediately on an aircraft. He's coming back in six days, which would add an extra day to his downtime, but I'm actually okay with that. Oh, that guy's no kills. Never mind. Banjo Thompson, he's got some kills. Let's give Banjo a laser cannon then. <laughs> now we got Banjo there with the laser cannon on his interceptor. I wonder if his Rio is named Kazooie. That'd be too perfect. So, Lieutenant Panic, the most unfortunate handle of all time, Cross, is also going to get loaded out with a laser cannon. And then it'll be back to scanning. See if we can get any of those guys in the air. Uh, four days till arc throw. That'll be good. All right. 15 weapon fragments for an engineer. Hmm. You know, we have plenty of weapon fragments. Eh, yeah, I'm okay with that. We have plenty of weapon fragments. And just three days to our arc thrower. Also, alien materials will finish in three days. That's another bonus. Eight weapon fragments for an engineer. Uh, China apparently coming in as lowest bidder. I guess we're going to take that too. All right, no more weapon fragments for anybody. We're done with that. Okay, and we've got alien abductions just as Kim Kardashian returns to active duty. I think this is going to be over Germany. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Yeah, there's one in Germany. I can see the nice chalk outline there. It's, uh, you know, not, not a mystery. The gigantic floating hologram of the Earth sort of pointed it out to me, but thanks for noticing, Captain Obvious. All right, well, we're definitely going to stop an abduction mission. We're not just going to let aliens kidnap our citizens willy-nilly. Although, honestly, I'm, I'm not too terribly sure what we could do to stop about it, since uh, I think all of our UFOs in Europe, are, or all our interceptors, rather, in Europe are being repaired. But since they were dumb enough to land, I guess we'll be dumb enough to go fight them. So Sean Penn went on our last mission, got a promotion, and eh, this time we're going to send Lindsay Low in. Lowen, whatever it is. So she's got a heavy laser rifle, scope, laser sight. Um, looks solid. Good loadout. And we're going to send one of our... Officer Snipers, we sent Rihanna last time, I think this time it's time for the enemies to feel the pants-shitting, bowel-loosening terror of a laser-equipped Mel Gibson. 
So let's make items available. We're going to give Mel Gibson a laser sniper rifle, a scope, and a laser sight. We're going to want a gunner, of course. So let's find out which of our gunners. Looks like uh, old Hamlet is still a little tired. We'll let him catch his beauty sleep. And which means it's probably going to be Megan Fox is going to fill in then. Where is it? Yep, yeah, it's going to be the great great granddaughter of Erwin Rommel, Megan Desert Fox. No actual relation, but uh, he doesn't know that. Of course, she's going to be toting the Shanene Jenkins Memorial Gatling Laser. Our gunners always take that into combat in honor of the fallen but heroic Martin Lawrence, whose sacrifice will be remembered unto eternity. We should probably grab an engineer and a medic, but for the medic department, we're going to get LeBeef out. He could use a little experience. He needs to get some more battlefield activity under his belt, so we're going to grab LeBeef. He's going to be toting a battle scanner and a med kit. Definitely want to scout along as well. Um, probably going to be, it'd be either Tara Reed or Pink, and that's about six of one, half a dozen of the other, but uh, I think I'd rather take Pink in all honesty, so. Let's grab Pink, and do we have two scatter lasers yet, or just the one? Just the one? Is our other one not finished? Hmm, must not be finished. Well, we'll give Pink a laser rifle then. And Battle Scanner, actually, I'm, I'm okay with that. Battle Scanner HE Grenade is alright for pink. We're gonna take old Robert Logia then, so we have an Assault Trooper. I think he's our, uh, yeah, he's our highest rank one who is not currently injured. Robert Logia's aim is at best mediocre, so of course Robert is gonna grab our Scatter Laser. He's gonna get rid of that Battle Scanner, however, in favor of an HE Grenade. And then our last slot's going to go to our most promising rookie because we still need a gunner to fill in for the fallen Martin Lawrence. At least until Paris Hilton gets off the injured reserve list, which should be soon, but uh, she is want to worry about the infirmary in a naughty nurse's outfit, so sometimes it's a little difficult to get her to leave. We've got a 68 aim, which is not shameful. And actually not shameful. Looks like it's going to be about the best we can do. We've got... Juan Yu Shin and Rachel Clark. Who's got the better movement? Rachel Clark, better movement, better will. That well, looks like Clark's going to get the call then. And we're going to customize her loadout a bit. She's going to wear heavier armor, just so uh, with six wounds. Even if she does take a shot, she probably won't be outright killed. And we will give her a scope and a laser sight, both assuming each available, and they are. And there we have it then. That's going to be our loadout. Let's get launched then and head to Germany to rescue some Germans. We may also stop by a beer garden or, you know, we do have uh, Mel Gibson on board, possibly a brothel as well. Mel gets crazy when he's had a few to drink. Ship has arrived. Although it's not October, so we don't have to worry about him getting wasted at Oktoberfest at least. Our target site is near the German border. Mm -hmm. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. Is that a we'll fact, Central? Quickly if Seems like they're on the about the similar panic. pace they've been on for most of our conflict, in fact. I, I don't really think they've stepped it up at all. Alright, so we're going to a gas station in Germany, or I guess it would be petrol, more correctly, since we'd be in Europe. You have the word. Lebeef is on scene and ready to take action. And by take action, I mean take credit for the kills of other members of XCOM. Not widely known for proper attribution is the beef. Good look in this building. Okay, looks clear. Put the beef on Overwatch then. And we'll send Pink in just a little further to have another look-see. Looks clear for Pink as well. So we're going to just move in then and occupy. Where is Mel? Where's Uncle Mel? We want to get Uncle Mel up on the roof. Preferably on the roof and in cover if such a thing is possible. Does not appear to be, so we're going to put him on the roof and hopefully out of line of sight. And maybe get him into a better position next turn. Clark. Oh, okay. I was going to say, who the hell is Clark? Clark is our rookie. Clark's going to take a dash move to that full cover. 
And everybody else is heading inside the building. Moving to designated coordinates. And we do want to get uh, Megan Fox Rolling in the out. best firing support position possible. And then we'll have old Robert Lozier just sort of wander in. He's old. Times get confused where he is. So you got to be kind of gentle with Robert Lozier. Nothing too strenuous or sudden or he'll... Uh, bark at you and is prone to punching when uh, enraged. So old Mel Gibson then is probably going to go try and find some aliens. We're going to dash him to full cover. That's, what we're All right, that's actually what we were hoping to do. So we've got two floaters then. Our rookie does not have a shot, neither does Labeef. Hmm. Interesting. We actually don't have a whole lot that we can do. Now, we could move our rookie forward, but uh, we're going to leave her pretty much open cover. Let's take her beside okay. this dumpster. Okay, it's good enough to get her a flank shot, so let it be, rookie. Going to take the 90% flanker. And she criticals with her first shot out of the box. Wow. And then just to back her up, we're going to bring the beef over, and we're going to put the beef on Overwatch. Going to bring pink up. I'm rolling. Put her behind this, uh, what is it? it, looks like something in the snack aisle, maybe cereal there. Pink's going to take cover behind some Rice Krispies. Actually, Pink has a shot. How good of a shot? Not a good one, but it, uh, she has hollow targeting? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take it. All right, so we better chances at that alien henceforth. Target still up. Megan Fox is not in a great spot and also is surrounded and can't move, so she's doubly fucked. And there's there's a joke there somewhere about Megan Fox maybe doing a little DP or something, but uh, yeah, we'll just we'll let that one slide. Let's move aye, Lindsay aye. Lohan forward. We're gonna put Lohan in the Overwatch. Right it's gonna give Megan Fox an opportunity to dash over behind the Weedabix. The Robert Logia is gonna take cover behind the register. And maybe rob it for gin money. You never know. Let's see how these aliens react. My guess is they're probably going to fly high. At least one of them will try and get a flank. Yep, there we go. First guy taken off. Which is good. That actually means uh, he's not going to get a shot. Nobody's overwatching at him, huh? Apparently he dropped down behind a dumpster and became invisible somehow. Hey, a little help? All right, so our rookie is suppressed, but that's okay. Labeef should have a uh, pretty reasonable shot at taking him out. Where's Uncle Mel? All right, Uncle Mel is just going to go ahead and get the kill. He can't miss because Mel Gibson never misses. But mathematically, he couldn't miss there either. So we do have some, we do have an enemy behind that dumpster, which is a problem. Looks like Labeef is going to be able to get a flank shot for the kill, though. Yeah, the beef's just gonna go ahead and finish him off. All right. He's down. It's a notch in the belt for the beef. I'm on it, Commander. Not really helping out his whole "I'm not famous anymore" case. The uh, racking up kills like that's gonna draw some attention to him. We also have a meld canister back there, which we wouldn't mind getting. Go ahead and have the rookie see if she can get her first kill. All right. Rookie gets her first kill. Rookie two for two. The last two rookies we've brought on missions have uh, have really brought their A games. They've been performing very, very well for us. Don't really want to go too much That's further forward. I, I really don't want to pop another wave here. So we're just going to make a couple small moves, get everyone in position for next Ready turn, and then we'll get more aggressive with our advancing. Roger that. Scanning. We do want to make sure we can pick up that meld canister. Actually, not really where I wanted Lindsay Lohan. Put her one more over. That is cover, isn't it? It is not. Lindsay Lohan is not even in cover. Well, that's delightful. Ten four. Let's move Pink then. And Pink's gonna overwatch to try and cover Lindsay Lohan, who, for some reason, assumed that a, a big glass door would provide cover from alien plasma weapons. Maybe she thought glass was impervious to liquid. Good copy. Moving on target. So the beef's just going to move forward. I don't think our rookie has got the foot speed to make it to the meld. Nope, can't even get close. The rookie actually really has nowhere good to be at all. 
We'll come back to that. Mel Gibson's going to go take cover behind that sign. Just to improve his firing position. He's going to drop into Overwatch. Our rookie's just going to take cover behind a soda machine, I guess. We do want to still be moving towards the meld canisters. We'll get Lindsay Lohan forward far enough to hopefully get some shots at an alien. Yes, one flank shot. He's going to take a 92% for a kill. Right in the dome. Sure, she's abrasive and grouchy and yeah, she drinks a lot and whatnot, but Lindsay Lohan, when it comes to putting aliens in the ground, there really, really is no topping her. It's just her natural erasability, really, is, it's, it's, sure, it's a drawback in Hollywood, but when you're fighting aliens, it's, uh, it's a, it's quite an asset. Pink's gonna overwatch. Megan Fox is okay. gonna come up to this window and hunker down. And Robert Loggia, the Enigma. We're actually going to take Robert Loggia and put him next to the meld canister. He will probably get shot at, but he will be in full cover, so that's, that's okay. Also, Robert Loggia, I still consider him fairly expendable, to be honest. And he is going to shoot at Loggia. Oh, spitting acid at Loggia. Alright, we're gonna get a, uh, yep. Uncle Mel taking his overwatch. And Uncle Mel drills him right in the face. Although, you know, guy doesn't really even have a face anymore. Just like that movie Mel Gibson made, Man Without a Face. So, eight meld from our canister, and then Loja's gonna hunker down, of course, since he's covered in alien slime. No shot from Mel Gibson. What can look? Oh, we had a flank shot there for Megan Fox, did we not? We did indeed. Well, Megan Fox is going to take her guaranteed hit. And Shanene Jenkins Memorial Gatling Laser. As annoying as the character themselves. Or possibly even more so. I'm on the move. If you're a thin man. Should get a shot for Pink, and that's a terrible shot. Pink, what's the deal? Your hit percentages are real bad, sweetie. Still got the job done. Apparently me calling Pink Taking Sweetie care. really kind of upset her a bit. On my way. Sorry, I'm not uh, not trying to be discriminatory right, or anything, Pink. I, I genuinely think you seem like a pretty nice person. Moving out. So we're going to reload with the rookie. Let's do this. And probably going to just take a small move. We really don't want to be hiding behind a gas pump. That's seems like something Lohan would do as opposed to Pink. We will just move and we're going to reload with... Uh, Gonna reload with Lohan as well, and the beef is just gonna take Lohan's old position behind that pillar. In case something untoward happens and that gas pump goes up in flames. We do want to get pink out of there as quick as possible. Alright, so we've got another meld canister, and probably likely aliens defending it. We're gonna have pink uh I'm on the move. Rectify her poor choice of cover. She'll move forward and she's actually gonna chuck a battle scanner, why not? if we can find those last few aliens. Scanner in the air. And the answer is no. We cannot. All right then. So we're going to do some fairly aggressive forward moving then. Stepping off. Which means this is almost guaranteed to pop a wave. Oh, wow. Fuck the odds. Robert Loggia, of course, going to hunker down. Has contributed, I think, literally nothing to this mission, but uh, that's this. kind of par for the course for Robert Loggia. He's got bad hips. He's uh, worried that if he runs too much, he might uh, take a tumble, and uh, he doesn't want to break a hip. It'd be, you know, it'd be pretty embarrassing. I'm trying to pull off the action. Understood. I've Moving still got out. what it takes to be an action movies kind of thing, and uh, broken hip while shooting doesn't really I'm on the move. doesn't really help build his case much. I feel, Commander. And our rookie is going to run up beside Lohan, take cover behind that uh, TV truck. Or is that? It looks like some kind of utility van, actually. Alright, so we've got enemies. It's an alien, Lohan. Then again, as drunk as you are, meh. Alright, so we're going to have Mel Gibson move to full cover. Still nothing, huh, Mel? 
Alright, you go on another watch. Scanning. And we're gonna have Lindsay or rather Lindsay Lynn. We're gonna have Megan Fox. The two are so how could I ever get them? How could I ever get those two confused? They're so distinct. I uh, can't believe I would make that mistake. And let's bring Pink. We're gonna try and get Pink in a position to recover that meld then. We're gonna have Pink Dash. She really could use a reload. But uh I really want to recover the meld canister if we can. That way Dr. Shen doesn't yell at us. Mostly location. so I don't have to listen to Dr. Shen open his mouth at all. And we're going to have the beef throw a battle scanner too, just to see if we can uh, get eyes on the alien. Can we can we get one over this truck? About through, no? Over? Yes, over. Big it's putting two almost on top of each other, but... There we go. Actually worked better than I expected it to. And our rookie then gonna move up to the corner of this van. That's what we're looking for. Drop into Overwatch. Scanning. Lohan's gonna take a fairly aggressive attack posture here. We're gonna run her up. You know what? Let's go. On let's go move. balls out. I know Lindsay Lohan doesn't really have any to hang out, but I'm sure someone will loan her a set. There we go. Got seekers. So we're gonna have Overwatch from Uncle Mel. Uh, wow, a rare miss from Uncle Mel Gibson. I'm all out. I'm I'm staggered by Mel Gibson's miss, and a miss from the rookie is actually unsurprising. Looks like Lindsay Lohan's gonna be strangled, but it's okay. She actually rather enjoys being strangled, so not that big of a drawback for the Lohan. Right, Mel Gibson has no shot and no ammo, so. We're gonna bring him up and he's gonna reload. Megan Fox should definitely have a shot. She does. And we're gonna have Megan Fox take the shredder ammo kill here. Uh, not a kill, but uh, she got plenty of damage in there. Don't really know if Logia has much to contribute. Let's see if our rookie can pack in another kill. 90%. You missed the 90% shot, Rook? Ah. Yeah, that's uh, troubling, actually. I was saying nice things about that rookie, and now I'm curious that I'm, I may have to rescind those nice things that I said about her. Let's see if the beef can clean up her mess. Yeah, the beef's not screwing around. Got him. Nice work, beef. It was just like when you took out Starscream in Transformers 3. Alright, so we're going to have uh, Pink take a reasonably poor shot here just to apply holo targeting. She's also going to get a, a hit for, yeah, very little damage, but that's okay. We're going to have Robert Loggia pull a little run and gun. Run him down. Time for you to contribute something, Loggia. And I know running isn't your strong point, but don't break a hip. Let's do this. 84% is pretty decent. And that's a kill for Loggia. One down. And that's going to end the mission. So it was an even ups fight, seven on seven. Apparently, the aliens felt like uh, deploying a particular sense of fair play for some reason, but hey, we'll take it. Easy is easy. No one lost, no one even injured. We should have recovered quite a bit of meld as well. If Dr. Shen opens his mouth about anything when we get back to base, I'm going to tag him down in the basement and beat him with a sock full of batteries. Not sure if our rookie earned a promotion or not. I, uh, not if they did, it got... Oh, they did. All right, squad. excellent. And weapons. That, that means our rookie's effort. probably going to be a new gunner. So, let's see. Pink got promoted. All right. Pink is going to take probably flush shot. Yeah, flush shot for pink. We like flush shot hollow targeting on our scouts. It's a nice little combo. It also comes with an aim bonus, which pink could use, to be honest. Robert Loggia, uh, promoted and nicknamed for Loggia, the Vandal. Robert the Vandal Loggia, well known for his graffiti tagging. He was uh, inveterate as a youth and spray painted R O B E R T across pretty much any flat surface he could find. Robert's going to take tactical sense. Since his gimpy old legs frequently leave him in a position where he has no choice but to be. In the poor cover versus quite a quite a large number of aliens. Claymore is a fantastic nickname. Unfortunately, it got assigned to Pink, so we're gonna have to redo that one. Still, I really like that Claymore. 
And Rachel Clark, who will get a name, um, maybe a Catherine Heigl sort of look. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. But she's going to be a gunner, of course. Going to have her replace the mighty, mighty Martin Lawrence. And let's take a look at our loot. What do we score? Some alloy. 25 meld. Holy cow, that's a ton. Which is not overly reassuring, really, because it means that the aliens... It, that, that's like three canisters with eight, eight, and nine. That's uh, more than I would like to see, really. Bunch of Seeker X, some more floater corpses for our enormous pile of floater corpses that we have. Operation Brutal Paramour! That's, uh, that's when Haley Williams beats you with a collapsible baton. We All right. will be in touch, Commander. Of course you'll be in touch, Optimus Prime. I am in charge of the XCOM project, and it's not like the aliens just suddenly decided to give up and go home because you found the AllSpark. But with that, we'll go ahead and end the episode then. Um, if you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like in the comment section down below. We really appreciate it. Your support means a lot, and we'll see you again soon.